and I ended up putting 13 different varieties on this tree. For Everett Eaton, his family's legacy is rooted in his mother's backyard. My father and my mother, this is their life right here. For more than 100 years, the Eaton family has worked for Applecrest Farms Orchard in some capacity, up until a few weeks ago when Everett quit. That's when a relationship dried up between Eaton's family and his employer. In an email, Applecrest Farms told 85-year-old Gertrude Eaton that the property was being sold and that she would have to move out. How tough has, has this last few weeks been, been for you? Bad. Very bad. I, know, I just never thought it would happen. Gertrude was born in this house and worked off and on at the orchard from the age of 10 until her late 70s. I think I earned my stay here after all the work that I have done there. The notice came from orchard owner Peter Wagner. Eaton says the request breaks a decades-long agreement with the Wagners. There's some implication that we, uh, there was a granting of a lifetime estate. It's just, it's just simply not, not true. Todd Wagner says the decision to sell the two-acre property wasn't easy, but the farm needs the revenue. He claims his family offered up various options, including the ability for the Eatons to buy the land or for Gertrude to live rent-free in an apartment owned by the farm. We have to remain sustainable. I mean, we have um, 200 other families whose livelihoods and their families depend on this farm. And Applecrest Farm Orchard say they are still hopeful that both sides will reach a beneficial conclusion. It insists the options offered up to the Edens remains on the table.